Associated Postal Center kiosk. Are you in the business? The need to know when business? Ask for priority mail with delivery confirmation. Delivery confirmation service. So here we go, going on 142 minutes of being on hold with the Postal Service. This is ridiculous. And, uh, we're running out of battery, so I don't even know if the last video I did so. Yeah, unreal. Trying to talk to a human being. Alright, thank you for watching. Whether you run a business or just want a more secure way to receive mail, consider a post office box. Alright, we're, we're going on. Two hours and five minutes. Ask about obtaining a post office box today. Being on hold with the post office. Trying to find a lost package. Because their internet their internet claim form won't work. I went to the local post office downtown here in Baton Rouge and they wait, oh, sorry. And they made me wait 20 minutes there to talk to a supervisor and he couldn't tell me anything. Even though the package is here in Baton Rouge somewhere. Yep, two, minutes, two hours and five minutes on terminal ignore. This is, you know, how do you expect people not to have an attitude? You know, you're going to hold that long. They just want people to go away. They don't want to have any customer service, it's obvious. People, most people would bail out before now. I just wanted to see how long this will go. You know, this is ridiculous. Alright, we're going on three hours now. Three hours on hold with the United States Postal Service. Trying to talk to a human being about a lost international package. Three hours. I was hoping to get them on the phone and see if somebody would provide an explanation why it takes three hours to talk to somebody about a lost package. But certainly everybody else that was in the queue before me has bailed out before now. So that's what we're doing now. Still on Tony Ignore. There's what happens when you try to send an email to the Postal Service. So what am I supposed to do? I can't contact him via an email. The local post office won't do shit. So what am I supposed to do to try to find my package? Nobody will answer the goddamn phone. So, you know, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. What are we up to now? Three hours and six minutes. I tried three different ways to get a request to them over this package, and nothing works. So what am I supposed to do? You know, just kiss my $18 goodbye that I sent for a video camera? You know, what am I supposed to do? This is, this is, this is what's wrong with the government in this country. Nobody cares about their job. <laughs> Nobody gets paid to care about their job, right? And the post office isn't affected by the shutdown because they are self-funded, right? They don't get taxpayers' money except through the cost of postage. So there you go. I'm kind of frustrated right now, but uh, what are you going to do? This is this is the state of affairs in this country, and it's only going to get worse. So you have a wonderful day, and uh, talk to you soon. To log into your mailbox, press 8-1. Call the attendant. Press zero. This is what you get. Your call is being transferred. Please wait on the line. Your command cannot be completed at this time. This is what you get when you call the phone number for the distribution center in Baton Rouge where my package is lost at. <laughs> the mailbox is full and there's no attendant. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm fucking real. So now I gotta go downtown again and rattle their cages. That's what I gotta go do now. This is uh, totally, totally fucked. All right, going downtown. Later. All right, this will be the last part of this video, I guess. So I went down to the local downtown Baton Rouge post office and spoke to the supervisor again down there because he didn't help me at all the first day, other than checking the same record that I have, right? I got a form for making an international claim, but I can't make the claim, they tell me, because I didn't mail the item. So this guy in China who has to make the claim somehow. 
And so, you, and so when I, I show him the phone number on the form for the National Tracking Center, he says, oh, you'll never get anybody to answer that phone number. And I told him I called the, the Blue Bonnet Sorting Center, and he says, oh, you'll never get anybody to answer that number either. <laughs> so that's your government in action. They give you phone numbers to call to get help, and nobody will answer the phone by design. And the employees know it, right? So why even have these phone numbers available if nobody's going to answer the phone? That's what I want to know. Who can answer that question for me? Anyone at the Postal Service, right? And then when I brought the idea that, hey, I think somebody stole this video camera that I ordered from China, right? Oh, and then they got real defensive. Oh, nobody stole it. <laughs> Which is just as likely that somebody stole it as is likely somebody didn't do their job and log it in whenever it was supposed to, and scan the item whenever it was supposed to leave Blue Bonnet, right? On September 2nd or 3rd. So it's either at the Blue Bonnet location, or it's downtown, or it's in a, a carrier's truck. So there you go. Have fun and uh, give your local post office hell because they ain't doing anything to help anybody else, it appears. All right. Thank you for watching and. Uh, We'll see you again soon.